After 15 years traveling the world, people always tell me the same thing. It goes something like this. I wish I could go to X place, but I can't afford to go. Or I wish I could go to Australia, but I can't take the time off work. And while travel does require some level of privilege and funds, I'm here to help you reframe the way you think about travel. My name is Matt Katniss, founder of the budget travel website, Nomadic Matt, and New York Times bestselling author of How to Travel the World on $50 a Day. In this lesson, we'll go over what stops most people from traveling, how to reframe the way you think about travel, and ways to save money and travel extremely cheap. What stops most people from traveling? I found that the majority of travel naysayers believe their situation is special, but no one else has gone through their struggles before. And it's not just travel. We all make excuses as to why we can't do the things we desire. The gym is too far away. I don't know anyone at the event, so I'll just stay home. I'm not tall enough to play basketball. When it comes to travel, people think what's holding them back is usually money. They imagine they can't travel because they can't tap the bank of mom or dad, or they're just too burdened by debts, or they just simply lack that one special quality others have. Here's the truth. I'm not special. I had debt and my parents didn't pay for any of my travels. I saved up and paid for them myself. Sure, I was born a white male in the United States. So yes, there is inevitably some privilege involved. But by automatically saying to yourself, I can't travel, you dismiss any advice that doesn't mesh with that worldview and thus miss all the ways you can travel. There is always going to be circumstances such as health, visas, debts, or family obligations that might keep someone from the road. In my experience, what keeps the majority of us home is not money, but mindset. And I'm here to help you change yours. How to reframe the way you think about travel. Let's talk about how to change your mindset. If you truly desire to travel, you can find a way to do it. The same way if you truly desire to buy a pair of sunglasses, you'll find a way to do that too. For some, it will take more effort and maybe a lot more time, maybe even years, but I know you can do it. So in order to help you travel more and change your mindset, I want you to ask yourself two questions right now. First, how can I overcome my obstacles like other people have? And second, what is one thing I can do today to get myself closer to my dream trip? And I'll talk about a few of the things you can do in the next section. Ways to save money and travel extremely cheap. Yes, there will always be some monetary requirements to travel. There's a limit on how cheap you can go or how many free flights you can get in a year. The first thing I always suggest to people is look at your day-to-day -day spending. Start small. When I was planning my first trip, I cooked at home and drank less. Then I gave up going to the movies. Then I sold my stuff. Then I found a roommate. And then I found ways to car share to save money on gas. Each step built on the last. I got more and more confident in my ability to travel. I woke up each morning and said to myself, I can do this. I can find one thing to do today to travel more. Once I started saying yes, it created a positive feedback loop that kept me focused and always put travel in within my reach. If you don't believe you can travel, you never will. But if you believe you can, you'll constantly look for ways to make it happen. So start shifting your mindset and keep yourself focused on your goals and start looking for ways, no matter how small, to be in living your travel dreams.